Hello, welcome to Bad Food Blog, and we got some chicken drumsticks. Now, I'm going to be cooking it with this, which is Nando's Piri Piri Bake and Bag, Bag and Bake, Paprika, Lime, a Paprika and Lime Mild Chicken Bag. It's got an included bag for tender chicken and vegetables. So, let's read the instructions, shall we? Includes one parchment bag. Mm. One times 20 gram bag of Piri Piri spices. Prepare yourself for a delicious mild bend of sweet paprika and zesty lime. With just the right amount of Piri Piri. African bird's eye chili. For your taste buds. Thank you. Well, thank you. Your taste buds will thank you. Mm. I'm not very good at reading, am I? There we go. Pop four chicken breasts. Well, I've got chicken drumsticks. So chicken drumsticks are not as big as chicken breasts in terms of their volume sort of like of meat. So we're maybe going to have to put eight or nine in. I don't know how many that is. And it's about 500 edible grams of chicken in a kilo of chicken uh, in, a, in a kilo of drumsticks because about half the weight of the drumstick or slightly more than half the weight really is the bone. So preheat the oven. Oh, let's do that now. 210. That's good. And then cook it for 30 minutes. That'll give the rice cooker time to cook because we're using the rice cooker. Uh, when the buzzer goes off, open the bag, coat the chicken with the juices and serve. Right, so that looks pretty easy. Let's open the bag and see what's inside, shall we? We have a bag. A bag of spices, which will be good until 2024. And a bag with those drumsticks will all fit in. <laughs> I did this. Look at that. They would all just fit in there. Right. I need to go and find something to put them in. Pretty neat, isn't it? That all fits in there perfectly. Oh, let's angle the camera down a bit. You're missing the missing some of the action there. There we are. That's better. So I guess what I do is I roll up my sleeves, get my hands dirty, get all the chicken in the bag, get the stuff in the bag, and then shake it. Why am I thinking of shaking it? Hmm. So is that all? We don't put any oil or anything in. No, that's it. Fold the edges of the bag and crease well. Give it a shake. Ah, see, there we go. Yeah, look. Give it a gentle shake to spread the spice. I knew it. There used to be something called shake and bake, which this is almost exactly the same as when I was a kid. That's from the 70s, I think. I think shake and bake is even older than me. Yeah. Just, I can't open these plastic lids even when I have a knife, look. This seems like the ultimate way of cooking, really. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, we get three chicken legs each, everyone. Uh, drumsticks, sorry, not chicken legs. Three. Now I've got to wash my hands and get rid of this. Okay, I'll be back in a second. There, I've just got rid of the raw chicken and washed my hands. Now, let's move on to messing around with this. There's raw chicken juices all over the outside of this. I have to be careful. Of course, I can't open this. I have to get a pair of scissors. Okay. Maybe you can see that. There we go. And then... Oh my god, it smells wonderful. 
Let's have a look in the bag, shall we? Oh, it's done a pretty good, good, good job of coating it. Well, I will say that it's not quite coated all of it, but I'm sure that's going to sort itself out. Now, I guess I need to... I want it to be um, nice and evenly spread out. That's good. And now, I want to fold that and put a crease in it. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And that's going to go in the oven for 30 minutes. We've got to wait for the oven to heat up. Whilst the oven is heating up, let me get the rice cooker out and get that ready. I'll show you what I do with the rice cooker, although, to be perfectly frank, the rice cooker is the least complicated cooking implement I have, and I've lost it. Rice cooker, rice cooker, where are you? I will stop the video where I go off and find out where I've lost my rice cooker to. And I found the rice cooker. Also gave it a quick clean, it got a little dusty. Right, so that's for steaming vegetables, and oh, looks like the inside of it is still a little dirty, so I'm going to have to go wash that up again as well. The rice cooker is clean. I put the uh, water in where it says cups. You put like two. You see that? You got two for the water. Then I got these little measuring cups. This little measuring cup that came with the rice cooker. I put in one. two little cups of rice that wasn't quite full. And that's done. The rice cooker is the easiest thing in the world. I absolutely love mine. I think I've shown it before on the channel, but all I do now is literally just plug it in, hit cook, and then it will cook the rice until it keeps it warm, which I'm gonna to have to take it away and do that. Because unfortunately, I don't want to run around trying to film this again. It's just a rice cooker. There's really not that much that could go wrong. The rice cooker is on cook. That's all you need to know. Over there with a little light on that says cook. See? Very boring. So the oven is up to temperature. In goes the shake and bake bag. Or the Nando's Cheery Piri bag. It's not shake and bake, is it? And we wait for that to cook. It'll be 30 minutes. Alexa, alarm, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Oh, I'm really sorry. Some of you have Alexas and that keeps setting off your Alexa. Alexa, play Old Town Road. Old Town. While that's cooking, let's try this funny pack of snacks that I found. Hmm, I found it in the world food aisle of the local supermarket. Calbee appears to be some corn-based beef skewer snack. This is fine, he's in a room that's on fire. That's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of like that. This is under license, uh, strict quality controls, QB, Calbee Inc. Prepared and packed in China by CFF Limited, Four Seas Industrial Complex. It is QB corn barbecue flavor. Ingredients, cornmeal, barbecue, seasoning, salt, sugar, spices. So this is one of the first times I'm actually having Chinese stuff. But as per normal, I can't get, well, I'm not using this knife, I used that on the chicken. What is it with packaging? Honestly, I'm not weak. This bag is made of really thick material. Ooh, smells weird. Well, it tastes like, sort of like barbecue flavored Cheetos. Mmm. How does a gas and say that's barbecue? 
That's Kobe corn snack or something. Mmm, this is really nice. It's got a really light, refreshing flavour. <coughs> I think that's Max sneezing somewhere in the background. Mm, I might put this up as a separate video, as well as leaving it in the middle of the other one. The chicken is still cooking over there. If you're watching this as a separate video, there's also a video of me cooking this piri piri sauce, which this is in the middle of too. Mmm. This is yummy. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. That's a, if this was a separate one, whatever. So, the alarm's gone off. It's been 30 minutes, but I don't know if it's cooked. Hmm. I think I'm going to need to probe it. On glove, probe. Thing is, with it not being a see-through bag, with it being a nice eco-friendly paper bag, I can't tell what's going on in there. See? There's some chicken-shaped stuff, but that's all I can see. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probe it and see what sort of temperature we're talking about. Try and go for a piece of chicken that's in the middle. Maybe I should open it and see what it looks like, so I don't really want to poke a hole in the bag. Oh, Ooh, it actually looks pretty cooked. I found a piece in the middle. Uh, 60. Okay. Oh, it smells super spicy. Okay. 60, it's not hot enough needs to be at least 75 degrees centigrade or 76 degrees centigrade, depending on which book you read. So, that needs to steam in its own juices for another 10 minutes. Never undercook chicken. Never serve undercooked chicken. Very important rules for cooking chicken. will keep you alive. What I'm gonna do quickly is this meal is slightly incomplete. So, it's gonna have some uh, sweet corn with it, so we also get some sweet corn. Just put another butter on top of the sweet corn. Shove it in the microwave for a one minute, 30 seconds. Bingo. We're ready to serve. Uh, I just did a quick check of the temperature and it was like over just around 75 to 80 on the pieces of chicken I was looking at. So we are good. Not entirely sure how I'm going to serve this. Mm. Thing is, right? At the end of the day. Ow! That's really hot steam. It's super, 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 super hot steam. Oh wow, look at that. Oh wow, look, they look amazing. Might have some left over looking at that. They all cooked. Let's probe a couple of these. Whoa! I just want to be sure before serving this. 75, okay. I'm just checking that pink looking one. 80, 80, see we're good. 75, okay. Even the most anemic looking ones are now over 75, which is perfect. Always better to be safe than sorry with chicken. Let's give that one to Maximilian. And that one. Here we go. That 
on whoops and that Alexa stop alarm Ooh, and we still got three left over all right well there that one there and let's see which are the smallest ones there we go if i give that little one there and then that little one and then take that big one there we go i've got the three smallest ones there three largest ones three larger ones then as it's suggested to do to make sure that they are covered in the juices it look wonderful I'm sure it smells wonderful it's got to rest for a couple of minutes but and whilst I was off camera I also got something else ready, the rice. So let me go and grab, and uh, I can stay there. Let me go and sort the rice out. The rice was pre-mixed with the sweet corn after the sweet corn was microwaved. There we go. As always, there's a little bit of rice left over as well. Oops, a bit too much on that one. There we go, let's even them out a little bit. Right, food ready. Okay, and I'm going to quickly try my chicken and let you know what it tastes like. This is a tiny bit too hot to eat, really. I'm going to use a knife and fork. Hmm. Nice, you get yourself a knife and fork. <clears throat> By the way, it's a little spicier than it advertised. Oh. Which one's nice. mine? You need one knife, one fork. Oh, God. Yeah, I just put my finger on it. Sorry, my finger was dirty. Now, that's your you... one, Max. Sorry, I've... which one's my knife? Whichever one you want. Yeah, let me just try the chicken and see what this tastes like. Mmm, mmm, it's a lot spicier than it says. Mild for piri piri. That's actually quite spicy. Wow. That's actually reasonably spicy. It's not blow your mouth out spicy, but it's got a big sharp twang to it. Wow. Okay, taste, flavor is amazing. Chicken is really juicy, as it often is when it's a sealed one. Mmm. Mmm. I'm liking it. Mmm. Let's have a look what the sweet corn rice is like. It should be nice and sweet. Mmm, that's also perfect. Mmm. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you really like what I do here, please subscribe. Bye bye. I'm off to eat the rest of this really spicy piri piri chicken. That, look, mild. It says mild. I'm going to get in trouble for this with my assistant. But honestly, it says mild. Mild.